going on, man? Can I help you? Yeah, uh, I'm looking for bona fide. You looking at him? You bona fide? That's exactly right. I need me a race car. I heard you fella come to. You trying to kill your fool self? You can't even ride a moped. I can't park a moped. I can ride a moped. Okay. Dale Jr. just retired. I'm taking over his spot. Really? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. They I don't heard know about that. I've been on my suicide pills ever since. I was depressed too, but I'm getting over it. I'm gonna and take you over. think you're the man for the job? I am the man for the job. Really? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Ain't no and doubt. And you're looking for a hot rod? I am looking for a hot rod. Something goes fast. And you're an Earnhardt fan? I am. I'm an Earnhardt fan. Well, I got something for you. What you got? Let me show you. Let's go. Well, this right here is a Sierra Cheyenne Super prototype. Earnhardt owned it itself. Earnhardt owned that right there. This right here was Earnhardt's first truck. 19, how you, how you 19 and 72. Boy, don't question me. It's documented. Where's the documents? You write down what I say, and I'll sign it, all right? All right, I guess that's legal. This right here is also known as a vagina magnet in Roebuck, South Carolina. What about in Lockhart, South Carolina? That's questionable. Everybody down there is cousins. I dated my third cousin. I'm, I'm, look here, look here. Bernie Sanders could get laid in this truck. What about Ginger Billy? Can Ginger Billy get laid in that truck? Now, I don't want to go above the justifications of the qualifications of this truck here. Mm -hmm. But even I believe even you could get laid in this truck. It's hard to turn something down if I can get laid in it. Well, I'm going to tell you something. Let me show you something. What you got you to show? Yeah, I want to see it. What, what you got? You ain't never seen nothing like this. Well, let me see it. You keep talking it up. I want to see what you got. This right here is the very same motor that Richard Petty won all seven Daytona 500s in. I thought Richard Petty drove a Ford. Boy, let me tell you something. That's the biggest secret in NASCAR, and don't you go running your mouth about it. You understand? I'm putting you in my circle. And I'm you putting should... you in the circle. If you want to be a race car driver, I'm putting you in my circle. Don't be saying anything about them uh, NASCAR secrets. Do you understand? Yeah, sure. Keep whatever, your mouth whatever. shut now. So you got Richard Petty's number. I can call him and verify this right now. Every NASCAR's got a small box Chevrolet in it. You remember that, all right? The Ford, the Toyota, everything Everybody, else. everybody runs a small box Chevrolet. It's all gimmicks. It's all about marketing. A bunch of liars, huh? That's all it is. If you want to be in the NASCAR circle, if you want to be a race car driver, you got to know the secrets of the game. Do you understand? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I, I got you. I got you. You see all this right here? You see all this stuff I've been building? Yeah, I see it. I ain't no damn rookie. I see it. What, that right there has got four wheels, but all the other ones, they look wrecked. Well, don't, hey, don't worry about that. I'm putting them together. They're projects. Is that, okay. All right. I believe you. If I need anything, it'd be a project manager. Okay. Well, back to this beauty here. All right. Do you understand? It's got the power steering, the power brakes. It's got an alternator. It's got yeah. an alternator in there. Power steering, power. It's got everything. It's got everything. I don't know much about vehicles. I just I just know I like to drive fast. Well, okay. If well, that goes here. fast, I want to go this fast. This right here is going to scare you. You're going to need to wear the pins when you're driving it. You understand? Well, where's the horses at? I want to get in that puppy and drive her. Just don't get in a big old hurry. Let me tell you about this truck now. I'm telling you, it is embossed with NASCAR history. Every single thing to do with NASCAR, it is right here in this one 1972 truck. You just, don't, you just don't understand how much history is in this truck. They run that truck on the track. This right here is the reason that the Craftsman Truck Series got started. They started it because of this very truck right here. That's believable. All right, all right, you keep going, keep going. You might sell me that truck. I like that truck. I like it. Come here, boy, let me show you something. Oh, that's a nice interior right there. You see a seat right here? Uh, yeah, it's pretty. I like that color. Let me tell you something about this seat. Dale Jr. was conceived in this very seat January the 1st, 1974. Dale Jr. was conceived right here. On what a burger seat. parking lot, Kannapolis, North Carolina. January a, the 1st, 1974. Is there a birth certificate or something I can see that in? I got DNA proof right there on the seat. Oh, God. Can we DNA get, proof, boy. Can we get that out of there? Do you see this right here? You see this right here? I don't want to take that truck. That's this factory that hound's tooth interior. Factory. I didn't know a 72 truck come with hound's tooth interior. I didn't say it came with hound's tooth interior. You understand? 
I said this hound's tooth was made in a factory. That means it's factory hound's tooth. You understand? I, I guess, man. I guess. I just like the color. Hey, look here. It's you see that speak? You see that gas hand right there? I see it. It's custom. That's a, you ain't uh, never seen nothing like it. It's sitting on an eighth of a tank. I don't care how much gas you put in it. It's still sitting on an eighth of a tank. You know why? So even when I fill this sucker up, it's going to be on an eighth of a tank. It's just going to remind you that you're going to need gas for long. Well, great. Great. Hey, okay, what else is wrong with it? What do you mean by that? That's custom. So how do you know it's custom? Boy, it says it right here on the side of the truck. Well, I guess you got me there. It does say it on the side of the truck. It on you know the reason it said on eighth of the tank? Why? That's how much gas it had in it when Dale Jr. was conceived. Right here in this seat right here. So the truck just stuck on that for mythological reasons? Exactly. This right here is a matching number truck. Which, which you mean a matching number truck? I mean the numbers even match the title. I don't know what that means. You really are a greenhorn, ain't you? I am. I just want something to go fast, man. I I'm don't care you about right, all these I'm fixing to take you for a ride in it. This right here is factory paint. This this right here with the oxidation on it is factory paint. Factory paint. Factory paint. Well, that means that paint wasn't mixed up in a barn that a, that a factory actually mixed this paint up. Looks it's like the factory paint. It's like somebody colored it with pastels. Let me tell you something, son. I know you green at this and you want to be a race car driver. But you got to know patina when you see it. You understand? I guess. Google it. All right, I'll I'll look up patina. But I mean, you got you got this right here, and then you got these tars here, these slips that ain't even got no grip. There's no that's called no grips on. Look it. here, that's called slicks. Can you say it for me? Slips. Slicks. 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 That's what they're running NASCAR right there. Well, what they grip on to? They ain't even got. Look. You don't need no tread, boy. You don't need no tread. They all be sliding into the wall if they run them things. I'm telling you right now, boy, you absolutely green as they come. You greener than a cucumber. You understand? I tell you what, put some. And you telling me that you want to go fast? Yeah, I want to go fast, but I don't want to die. I want some grips. This is all grip. Look how much the rubber's touching the ground. That'll kill me. I can't ride in that. Boy, let me show you this, something. These ain't going on this right here. No, look here. This right here is made for this truck. These you only look here. You can drive this truck to the track, put them slicks on it right there, and enter the race and run into the wall. No, sir. One lap. Have you ever watched a NASCAR race? All the time, every Sunday. And you ain't ever paid no attention to the tires. Well, they're going 200 miles an hour. How am I supposed to look at the tires? Well, you're gonna have to start paying attention. I'm trying to put you in a circle, boy. I'm trying to make a race car drive right of you. Well, you got to pay attention to what I say. All right, I I'll listen to you, but. I just don't know about these right here. Do they come, I, I, do they come with the truck? I'll show you. Don't do worry about it. I'll show you. For the right price, they'll come with the truck. What do you mean for the right price? They're in the truck, so they have to come with the truck. I'm going to tell you what I'll do. You can get the whole truck, slicks and all, for $20,000. $20,000? 20, $20,000. You know what I got in my wallet right did, now? Did I not tell you the history of this truck? Man, I ain't got nothing but a $20 gift card and two Hardy's coupons. But I'm willing to work. I'm willing to work it off. We'll do something. So you're willing to learn? I'm willing to learn. So you're saying I'm going to need to take you under my wing? What's under them wings? Knowledge, son. Oh, yeah, Knowledge. Man, I, man, I don't know nothing about cars. All right, I, I just don't know anything, and I want to race. So if that's what it's called, yes, I need some knowledge. We gotta have something to work with. What you got to work with? Well, I ain't got much. I got this old brain here. Got these hands. That's about it, man. And I ain't got no money. So we gotta just... have a car. Oh. Uh. Well, I can see if I get my station wagon. My daddy had. It's just sitting there in the yard rotting. Maybe we can get that. You bring your daddy's wagon up here, and I'll turn that Astor piece into a masterpiece. Let's do it, man. Let's do it. Let's get that wagon, turn that Aster piece into a masterpiece. And don't forget you're going to work here at the shop a little bit, too. All right. I can do it. All right, then. We'll grab your broom. All right. Hey, turn out the lights when you leave. 